okay we'll do a very quick uh, unboxing <clears throat> just as a thank you to michael um for sending me this and uh, because it's probably got the best looking wargaming box i've ever received so this is the outer and uh that's kind of tasty isn't it i uh, have to confess there's an unusual story to uh me getting this but thank you very much mike nice chatting to you at the uk games expo and um, I really appreciate having this. So I thought I'd throw this video out quite quickly. And uh, I can always uh, take my time then to do a proper review once I've had a game or two. Um, I've got a few other games on the table at the moment. So I have not even looked into what things come with Kickstarter goals or which is the special edition or what's the standard edition. Um, because this is very much uh, getting this as a bit of a favour. To be honest, um, we are here. I have this game and reviewed it many, many years ago. Um, I think it was it Valley Games did it, and I was uh, oops, get some focus. And I loved it. I really enjoyed it. I give it a good review, and um, so the chance of having a sort of slightly revised game, I wasn't going to pass that up. Um, let's have a looky. I'm not going to pretend to know what I'm looking at. Like I said, um, I just I did uh, get to speak to Michael and said, "Look, any chance you could bug me one of those games?" And uh, he very, you know, I'm very grateful that he did. And I did actually pick up a Race to the Rhine from him in the process of chatting. And um, he said, "Oh, you want to try that? It's a really good game and all the rest of it." And I've always been put off it because I'm a bit of a war gamer. And it looked quite abstracted, um, but I was so pleased I took it. I played so many goes of it when I bought it. It was unreal. And uh, I, I'm really pleased. There's going to be another one, actually. It might even be out now um, in the series. I'm really pleased I bought it. So, um, quids in. I did spend some poo pounds. Let's take this off. <sighs> you guys all have um, some kind of handy dandy knife that will do this nice and easily. I've got my sausage fingers. And I literally just walked it back from work where I collected from. Two mile walk. I thought I won't have any finish to this video. I'll literally just uh, show you what's inside. Ooh. Plenty of cards. I do remember the combat system. We're trying to outmaneuver your opponent. That was uh, that was terrific. A few other games now have tried to do something like that, but um, I thought for me it broke the mold. I hadn't seen it before. I should probably open those in a second. Plenty of baggies. Ooh, look at these mothers. These are large. It's the dice. Hope you can see them. Hope they're focusing in. There's the figures. I've seen a few things online about just one or two people suggesting they weren't so happy with how the plastic is, whether it's bent or not. So as I look down here, there's a possibility of that one sort of symbol there, eagle symbol. Eh, it might be a bit bent. Everything else seems to be all right, well, I suppose perhaps there, but I don't know what are people are expecting. Um, like if it was miniatures to, to paint, maybe so. Um, but, uh, rule book. That's a sort of colourful, and uh, it might be a step forward from the last rule set. the rule book this is the scenario book I remember the map being a sort of jigsaw map I think there's six pieces to it um, to stop it sort of uh, bowing this is nice though isn't it having a whole map image on the one side for each scenario that makes it easy well, I think they've gone the extra mile there to be honest 
that examples of play? Perhaps so. Playbook as well. Oh, graphically, you can't ask for more. Plenty of space as well between the text. Large enough text for an old fogey like me to uh, read. Short player aid, province display. God, it's been a while since I played the original. This is where I get the map out when it sort of peels away from itself. So I gotta concentrate. I'm not gonna edit and try and take another camera shot and get it all on. Oops! Let's have a look. What have we got here? So we got the boot. We got Sardinia, Corsica, Sicily. That's Italy. What do we turn it round? Oh, it has attrition tables on it. And we seem to have something quite similar on the other side. So I shall have a look at the differences and why we've got that on both sides. Let's put that to one side. And uh, here's the sort of punch out counters. These are very nice. Won't have to clip those corners. Should we uh, tease those cards out? Let's see if I can get in here. It's been, actually, it's been quite a while since the first time that I thought I was getting this game and the time which it actually arrived. But all things come to those who wait. So it's if you've got a proven game, and it, it was a very popular game, bringing one out every 10 years or so, that seems about right, doesn't it? So let's see if we can get any kind of focus or colour on these cards. If I read a few out. Um, native Guide. If you use this card as an OP uh, to move an army and the army crosses a mountain pass, you may deduct three from your mountain pass attrition die roll. And Mahabal's Cavalry. Um, play during any land battle. You may use this card as a double envelopment, which, if matched, does not automatically give the defender the initiative. This card may be played even after you have played your last regular BC. Hostile Tribes. Play whenever an opposing force occupies or enters a space in hostile province. The force immediately undergoes attrition on the such and such column. I'll have to learn what that, symbols, that symbol means. May be played as an event or counter event. And I will just show you some of the imagery, I think. Hopefully you can see it. And whiz through some of these cards. Can't ask for more, really. I'd say that the artwork is on a par with Magic the Gathering. That's saying something. I mean, it's not fantasy, is it? It's historical, but there or thereabouts. Let's have a look. Well, this one I don't have to spit out across my dining room. This hmm. Panic, flee. Um, was it a squadron, skill crew, Greek fire. So give up your battle roll this round. You may make two battle rolls in the next round instead. Inflict a number of hits equal to your general's battle rating to enemy warships. Roll a die, and if the die result is higher than the opposing general's battle rating, double the hits you inflict in this battle round. Seems quite a bit to this. Uh, I'd better show you the um, battle cards. So we're lucky.
to be honest, I, I don't get anything whatsoever out of an unboxing. I'd much rather just unbox. Take my time to spread it out across the table one day when I'm actually going to play it and go through it slowly. But hopefully it's of benefit to those people trying to make their minds up, trying to look at the difference between the different versions uh, of this uh, game. So if it's not 100% uh, professional, then uh, that's because I'm not. We've got flank left. Lots of flank left. Frontal assaults. Uh, it says roll retreat die remove number of losers combat units equal to the number of and then there's some symbols we've got probe roll retreat die remove number of losers combat units equal to the number of so and so same same sentence made me sound retarded double envelopment reserve great leadership shoals pursuit favorable wind broken oars there's a lot to go through, but essentially, I would say from the rule book, like, you know, the figures, the counters, what more can you ask? Certainly if you come from a wargaming background, um, they really can't do any more. So that was a very brief look at Hannibal and Hamilcar, Mark Simnitches, and um, yeah, let's have a look. I'll uh, crank it out in um, a month or two. And we'll do a bit of game flavor videos. Take care.